Hey everybody, Brickhouse here, and there seems to be this pattern coming out of Hollywood where you have projects that don't seem to get the attention or they're not as successful as somebody thinks they should be. And when that happens, the pattern is, is for, say, a producer, director, writer, whomever, to come out and blame the audience. And when they blame the audience, it's always the same is or ism over and over and over again. Let's take Ava DuVernay, for example. Ava DuVernay is a writer. She wrote a couple of books. One of those books is The Warmth of Our Sons, The Epic Story of America's Great Migration. Now, this book provides a historical examination of three popular routes taken by black Americans in immigrating north from the southern United States between 1950 and 1970. The second book is called Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents. Cast argues that America today and throughout its history has been shaped by hidden by a hidden caste system, a rigid hierarchy of human rankings. Now, these two books have been put together into a biopic called Origin. And this is where it gets spicy. Ava DuVernay says racism and sexism to blame her audiences for being more excited about Oppenheimer than her Isabel Wilkerson biopic, Origin. According to director Ava DuVernay, the lack of interest in her upcoming Isabel Wilkerson biopic, Origin, compared to the similarly structured Oppenheimer, has nothing to do with the latter's historical importance and everything to do with the audience's own racist and sexist attitudes. This is a way I should. This is a perfect example of how not to win over an audience. Don't like my movie? You're racist. Don't like my movie? You're sexist. No, we just don't want to see your movie. It's not something that has caught our attention or caught our eye and something we want to see. How is that so hard to understand? So, she was doing an interview, um, and I, I'm not sure who this interview was with. Oh, it's with Variety. Do an interview with Variety. And uh, she was explaining the film. It has biographical elements, so in some ways it's a biopic. In some ways it's docudrama. In some ways it's just a straight-up adaptation of these really beautiful and tragic moments in history. The goal is to try to stitch together a tapestry. Tapestries. We need the tapestries to create a quilt. That's how I think of it and allow myself to color outside the lines of what I've been told, just to throw all that out and tell the story from my gut. And it came from reading this book. So the film tries to align both stories, past and the warmth of our sons. Personal trauma and our cultural trauma. And understand that the only way to solve or heal any of it is to walk through it. And the film tries to walk people through both. Following further discussions regarding her time working on the film, DuVernay was eventually pressed by Jackson. What does it take to get the audience to watch a movie like Origin? 
Here we go, people, get your popcorn ready. Because midway through, I realized this is a process film. The reporter elaborated on her initial question. A movie about someone making something. I had, I just had a conversation about, she said, which I loved. And I was frustrated because it feels when there's a process films about women and people of color, people are not as intrigued. I don't know that this is a fair question to ask you, but I am curious what you make of the way to get the audience in the door. Because it is complicated when asking people to watch material that is challenging. In turn, DuVernay unsurprisingly blamed the audience or blamed the existence of this challenge on the inherent racism and sexism of general audiences. There it is. The director, you're right, the director affirmed in reply, it's challenging to watch a process film about a man making a bomb, Oppenheimer. He's a, he's a man who was trying to do something and couldn't quite describe it to anybody else, but he knew it. Isabel is a woman who knows something and can't quite describe it, but she knows it and she's going to find it. You'll sit through three hours of his process. She then inserted, will you sit through two hours of her process? I mean, come on. How can we express the fact that because something is not as popular as something else, it has nothing to do with racism, sexism, every ist or ism in the book? Now, granted, her film will probably be up for an Oscar. Oppenheimer should be up for an Oscar. Oppenheimer was popular, though. And if you've ever watched the trends, when it comes to the Oscars, um, usually the popular movies don't do as well. Just saying. And, you know... It, all I can say is just stop. Stop already with blaming with blaming the audience because your movie isn't popular, because your movie isn't liked, because your movie, it may be a great movie, but it's not for everyone. Oppenheimer was a niche movie. It wasn't for everyone. But the word of mouth is what propelled Oppenheimer to where it's at today. Just like the word of mouth propelled, and this is a totally different genre, Barbie to where it's at per today. Word of mouth. That's what gets people interested. I'll use One Piece as an example on Netflix. I had no idea what One Piece was. No idea. I didn't even know it was an anime. But I heard people talking about it. Because I heard people talking about it, I checked out the first episode of it. I liked it. Have I watched the rest of it? Not yet. I plan on it. Even though it's hard to plan on doing that when it's football season. Um, that's how biopics like Oppenheimer, that's how biopics like Origin become popular. Word of mouth. It's not hard, folks. Miss DuVernay, it's not hard. So that's just my two cents. That's my opinion. Don't blame the audience. Because as soon as you blame the audience and start throwing every is and ism and whatever out there, sexism, racism, whatever, you just lost the audience. So there you have it. Comment down below. Share your opinion. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.